Okay, so congrats on the race. You got to be pleased with that opener. Um, yeah, I, my real opener was in Oslo two weeks ago and I ran 908. Um, so this is my second steeple and I'm happy with it. Um, I really wanted to teach my mind and my body to get out hard. Um, I can't tell you how many races I've run 301 or 302 for my first kilometer. Um, and so I was really trying to challenge that more on the mindset side of it. Um, and putting myself out there and getting myself kind of in debt early on and just seeing how I physically cope. And I definitely died the last kilometer, but uh, even though I was slowing down, I still felt decent. I still felt pretty good. Um, and I fell, which sucks, but my last two water jumps were really good. And um, that's when I think in this event, you really can uh, sneak and get a few extra space places. Even if you fall or even if you're slowing down, you can really take advantage on those. Uh, parts. Was that the fall? Was it wasn't. Oh, just. I think I clipped my front toe. I was, I was, rounding the corner and kind of looking up ahead to the straightaway, um, and just got distracted. And I think I clipped my toe. And um, unfortunately, I now that's the third race I've fallen in this year. But today was fall down, get right back up, and try to not let the adrenaline buzzing through your body throw you off, and just try and like stay calm and just lock back into what I was doing. How much did you lose out of that mishap, do you think? A second, maybe. The second maximum, probably two. It wasn't a sub nine mistake, um, but it was today was a good day. Was that the fastest you've ever gone out for a steeple, first K? For sure, yeah. I think in Monaco last year, it was 257 or 258, and today I think I was like 255. Um, and so that's not the, you know, if you have to, right splits on how you're going to run a PR race. That's definitely not how you do it. But in this event, with how far ahead uh, Beatrice is, to be somewhere in contention, you have to risk it and get out hard. And um, I tried that last year in Monaco and um, died and felt really bad that day. Um, and today I obviously slowed down, but I felt a lot more composed than I have, um, you know, that I did a year ago in Monaco when I tried this tactic. Yeah. So running, I mean, running 904 with a hole, do you feel like you can close that gap by Worlds to Beatrice? Or? You know, I, I'm really just focusing on myself. I think there's a lot of women that are between 855 and 908. There's a lot of people right in that belt, and there's probably nine of us. and so. Really, I have to run nine minutes to medal at Worlds, and so I'm just going to keep my eye on that target. How much more races between this and the USA's? Uh, no, I think I'm just doing USA's. Okay. Yeah. What, what steps did you take since Oslo? Um, Oslo, I was really, uh, I had only done one steeplechase workout, um, and so I knew I was going to be a little rusty leading up to Oslo, and I, I did one more steeple workout between Oslo and here. Um, so I think the difference is having done now a total of three steeplechase efforts um, makes it feel a little bit more comfortable and um, yeah, just just slowly sharpening up but trying not to be too perfect too early in the year. So nothing really changed dramatically between here and Oslo, but I think having raced Oslo, I felt a little bit more primed today.